All right, so basically what's going on here, I just went into a stage 3 run to do like a mining run. And suddenly I see this bad boy, Mammut. And now I'm a little bit scared because I don't think I have the team yet to beat this team, especially because there were like two Earth, I think, which counters me hard. I have like a seven fire team. And yeah, at least I want to record it so you can see my misery when I'm not able to capture the Mammut. But I got really excited when I saw that big boy running around. It's the first time I see him in game. Look at that. Okay, okay, more Illuvials, more Illuvials. I know, I know. It's a really freaking hard encounter. Look at this guy, dude. Holy moly. That is a good looking piece of mob. What a badass, man. Wow. All right, we're gonna try our best. Let's hope we have some good encounter mods. 60% crit chance, 80% crit amp. All right, starts pretty good. 32% additional dodge chance, 20% omni vamp, and 80 uh, additional omega power. At least they don't have physical resistance, which is kind of our main counter. But yeah, see my team and we're probably gonna have 300 stability left or something like that. Let's see it. Let's see it. Full team. Down to 171. All right. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. We're not so far off. Bond right here. No, that's the wrong one. Bond with the Revo. Gives us shock. Seven fire. Four rogues. Three fighters. Two revenants. And we're going to be using all our best consumables. So we have a rare flora ball for our cinch right here, which is going to be our main tank. Then we're going to use the Gumball Drop, which is the best for rogues and fighters. For our rogue right here, our rogue right there. Um, also for our Revenant right here. And then also probably for this fighter. Yeah, I'm probably going to use them on all of them. Maybe we're going to use like a rare Dragon Egg on the Chikoral. But we're going to see. We're gonna see. Let's let's do some positioning first, and then we'll check. So first, we gotta figure out the highest threats of the enemy team. So they have additional crit chance and additional crit damage. So any rogues we gotta eliminate. There is no rogues in here. They basically got two fighters right here, three actually, the lynx and the two monkeys, and they have. Yeah, that's that's kind of it. They have the harbinger, which is not activated, and the scion. Then they have three bulwarks, we don't want to focus them. So that's the Kling, the Kara Blue, and also the Mammut. And then they have three Ampaths, we can focus them. So we get a free kill on the Archie here with our rogues. We also got a pretty free kill on the Ebb. Usually it's pretty good to get rid of the Ebb. The Archie we can maybe ignore. If nobody is close to the Archie, the Archie is pretty useless because he heals and roots around himself. So if nobody's around himself, he's pretty much useless. And yeah, we probably can easily kill the Floral Links here with our fighters, which is pretty good, which is the main damage source of our enemy. So let's try that. Fighter, fighter, and third fighter right here. Then we could uh, gonna put our rogues over here. We're gonna keep them close together because as long as we have a front line in front of the, uh, of the rogues, they're gonna have a tank. If we put our rogues here, they're gonna be in a little bit of a trouble over there. Uh, we're gonna put our Revenant on the outside. He's not the tankiest, but he's alright. The Chukorl right here, he will disappear on his ability. So he can drop all the aggro and he can easily tank a little bit. Same with our Revo, he can tank a little bit and then roll away. That's probably even better than Chukorl. And then we have our Ranger, which is Revenant. So she's gonna provide some shields and we're gonna keep her in the middle of everybody. Uh, probably a little bit on the inside right there. Kinda like this. That should be alright. That looks pretty good to set up for our rogues. Uh, we're coming a little bit too far to the left. So we're gonna split between this side and this side. Which is not ideal. So we might want to pack them up a little bit tighter. Put our ranger right there. Kind of like that, should be better. We can also put our Revo over here. 
he's gonna tank this side and then roll hopefully over here helping all of our rogues and to make this possible and even easier we're gonna give him maybe some tanky augment some tanky consumable maybe the last flora ball could be pretty nice on him and then we can really let him tank over there and then we also need another tank up here with our fighters we want to make sure all those fires, fighters actually attack the Flora Links. That is crazy. By the way I'm talking, it almost seems like we're going to win this, but we're definitely going to have a hard fight. Alright, Singe on the outset here, tanking. Links on the inside here. That should look pretty good. Actually, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the positioning. We still have some... We can pl put a rare dragon add egg on the Doka. That's gonna do some pure damage around himself. So that's gonna boost the damage here a lot. And then we still have nothing on the Chukul. I want him to survive. He's mainly our tank. So it's either gonna be a gumbo drop or an uncommon flora ball. I think we might go with the Flora Ball, because we have enough damage, right? We have 7 Fire, we just need Sustain, so we're gonna go with the Flora Ball. It's the only one that we didn't use a rare consumable on. And that's kinda it. I think we talked through all the scenarios, through everything that's gonna happen. Revo is gonna tank, Singe is gonna tank. And then hopefully our fighters don't die too fast, because they are very important. Wish me luck, everybody! Let's see it. Did I forget anything? Double check. Weapon, everything on the Ranger. Everybody has a consumable. I'm a bit nervous. I really want this guy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Alright, so Sinch is tanking pretty good. He cast his first time, doing a lot of damage. We can see it right here. 5,000 damage already. Almost casting a second time. Mamo died. Our ropes are safe and we got the fight. We got him! Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, and... Lucky me, I have a Master Shard with me, so we're not gonna take any risks and just catch this Mammoth with our Master Shard. The Illuvials cannot run away anymore, uh, so that's a good thing. So, actually, we can actually try to capture him with something else, just for the fun of it. But we gotta be wary, because here is the stability, 171 stability. And this Mammoth right here costs... What's his cost? Can we see it? Oh, we can't see it. But anyway, he will cost, what, it's a stage 3, tier 4, that's gonna be like 90 or something like that. So we have maybe two tries to capture him. We can try an epic shard, which will give us 18% chance. And yeah, we're gonna just do it for the fun of it, because I don't need to capture anything else. That's really our only guy. Wow. Okay, instantly out. There we go, master shard, you deserve it. 100%. Should have gone with it right away. I'm sorry. I didn't want to offend you. Please, let's be friends. Oh my freaking god. We got a mammoth. I'm so freaking happy. This is testnet, but I'm still so happy. <laughs> Yo! There we go. He's gray. Why is he gray right there? Look at that bad boy. Absolute beauty. Not the best stats, but we don't care at all. The Mammoth has a strong memory and knowledge of the terrain. Many Mammoths in its herd relies on it to guide them through storms and find shelter. Please, Mammoth. Please, Mammoth, guide me through the storm, guide me through the shelter. To the victory in tomorrow's tournament. Whew. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay down. I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded, a little bit dizzy. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you later on stream or tomorrow in another video. Peace out! Everybody, have a good one.